One day Jesus was invited by a well-known Jewish leader called Simon. When they were eating a woman entered the room. She went up to Jesus, knelt before him and started to cry. She had expensive oil with her and washed the feet of Jesus using her tears and that oil. One of Jesus' disciples complained, why do you allow this? We could have sold this oil to give the money to the poor. You will always have poor people that you can care for, Jesus answered. I will be with you only for a short time. Therefore it is a good thing she is doing. She is preparing my body for my death. Jesus knew the woman and also knew that she was not living a good life. A lot of people saw her as a criminal. Why don't you send this woman away? How can you allow her to even touch you, the Simon murmured. Jesus replied, look at this lady. You have not even offered me water to wash my feet myself. She instead is washing my feet with tears and oil. You did not give me a hug as I entered. She is continuously kissing my feet. One thing is sure, if God forgave you a lot, you will love a lot. If you haven't been forgiven much, you will love a little. Then he turned to the woman telling her, your many mistakes and sins are forgiven. You are saved because you have trusted in me. Jesus went to celebrate the Passover festival, together with his friends, the disciples. Passover is the most important yearly festival for the Jewish people and begins by sharing a meal together. Jesus sent Peter and John into town to prepare for the feast. He told them they would meet a man on the way and that they should follow him to the house he was going to, then ask the owner there for a room where they could celebrate. Everything happened just as Jesus foretold. When Jesus and his disciples started the celebration, Jesus took some water and started washing his disciples' feet. Peter didn't think Jesus should do that. It was not the custom for a teacher to wash the feet of his students. Normally it would be the other way around. Jesus explained, This is an example of how you should treat each other. Follow my example. No one should look down on anyone else. Instead, help each other. Lift each other up. Always be ready to do good things for each other even when it's something humbling, like washing each other's feet. When they started to eat, Jesus took the bread, broke it, and gave a piece to each of his disciples. This bread stands for my body, that I will give up for you. After that, he took a cup of wine and passed it around. This wine stands for my blood, that I will shed in order to forgive all your mistakes. When you celebrate Passover, always remember that my death has saved you from eternal death, that I have defeated death itself. Then Jesus looked sad, and he told his disciples, One of you will betray me to my enemies. The disciples started to ask each other, Who would do such a thing? Peter stood up and promised Jesus, I will never betray you. I would even die for you. But Jesus said to him, Peter, Tonight, by the time the sun rises, you will deny three times that you even know me. Jesus knew that his disciple Judas was the one who would betray him. And after dinner, Judas left to tell Jesus' enemies where they could find him. After this all happened, Jesus took his disciples away to a garden to pray. Jesus and his disciples arrived in the garden that was called Gethsemane. Jesus told them, this will be a difficult time. Please stay awake and pray for the faith to get through it. Then he went away from them to talk to God. Father, if there is some possible way that I don't have to suffer this fate, please show me the way out. But if not, I will obey you, even though it's not my will. Jesus was so emotional and he prayed so intensely that he was sweating blood. When he went back to his disciples, he found that they had fallen asleep. He woke them up and said, Why are you sleeping? You need to pray that you can be ready for what's ahead. While he was saying this, Judas arrived, accompanied by armed soldiers. He went up to Jesus and gave him a hug, which was the sign to the soldiers who they should arrest. 
the other disciples began to understand what was going on. One of the disciples attacked one of the soldiers and cut off his ear. Jesus told him to stop. No more, he said. Whoever uses violence will die by it as well. Jesus healed the soldier's ear. Then he asked them, Why didn't you arrest me during the day? I was preaching to the crowds in public places, and I never hid myself. But now is your time, the time where darkness reigns. The disciples had already run away in fear, and Jesus was taken away to be questioned. There, the soldiers were mocking Jesus. They blindfolded him and hit him and asked, Tell us, prophet, who hit you? Peter had secretly followed them and was watching from a distance. Suddenly, a woman recognized him. Haven't you been traveling with that man? No, Peter said. You must have mistaken me for someone else. Aren't you one of the people he called disciples? A man asked. No, I've never even met the man, Peter answered. But another man insisted, I also saw you with him. Peter shouted angrily, I don't know him. At that moment, the sun rose and Jesus looked right at Peter. Peter remembered what he had told him during supper and he went away crying. The religious leaders started questioning Jesus. Are you the savior sent from God? Yes, I am, Jesus answered. They were angry because Jesus was claiming to be as important as God himself 